Hello class. Today we want to look at how to create bodies. That is a basic block for the upper parts of your contour. Now, uh, actually this is a special request from one of our students and I believe you can uh, learn from it. So first thing first, we need some measurements to achieve our bodies. We need the circumference of our bust, the circumference of our waist, we need our across shoulder, we need our chest um, measurements, we need our back width, we need the bust point, we need on the bust measurements, we need our shoulder, our neckline measurements. So I'll give you some time to quickly get your measurements ready. Now if you have your measurements ready, all you need to do is to divide certain measurements into four. That is your waist into four, your bust circumference into four. Uh, for this class, I'll be drafting the center back and the center front separately for better understanding. Because for some of the beginners, they don't understand it when we have it together in a box. So I'm going to make it a separate one. So quickly divide your measurements into four. Now, this is my paper, which I'm going to use to draft. I always like to have a margin, uh, marginal line which is uh, about one inch inwards, that is from the edge of the paper inwards is one inch or 2.5 inches. So I'm going to start. The first thing first is to determine my nip to waist. So like I said that I'm going to measure my nip to waist, you can have that old on. Now what I'm going to do is, what I did is I, you know, since it's just the bodies, uh, my shoulder to waist is what I want to draft, which is uh, the bodies. I just uh, rule this line across so I can determine the length of my knee to waist. So what do I do? The first thing I do from here, I'm going to make here a zero. So from a zero, I dropped it by 1.5 centimeter, which I'm going to make one. 1.5 centimeter by one. Remember, I'm starting with the center back. So now um, my... The width of my neckline is 3 inches, which is there. So I'm going to make it 2. So from 1 to that angle, I'm going to do this too. So I have 1.5 as the width. That's, I'll make the yeah, 2A. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure my knee to waist. So knee to waist. My nip to waist is 16, which is here. Yeah. So I'm going to roll across. Roll across, and I'll make here three. So the next thing I'm going to do is to divide uh, one to three into two, plus 2.5 centimeter to arrive at my arm O depth. So um, I already have my ham O depth, which is line four. Line three is my waist, and um, I'll make this, that is depth, ham O depth, and this will represent my back, uh, my bust line. Then to arrive at my back weight, I'm going to measure one to four. So into two, this is where it is, which I made five, then I'll roll it. I'm using my set square, then I'll roll it across. Now that I have my lines ready, the next thing is to determine my, my shoulder line. That is, how do I mean? I'm going to measure one to five. Whatever I have, I'm going to divide it into five. So one fifth of it is what I'm going to measure from one downwards. That will serve as the shoulder line. So this is my answer. Then I'll roll across in this direction. So I have all my lines. This will serve as a shoulder, shoulder line. This is the back weight. This is the bust line. And this is the waist line. Thank you.